everyone welcome back once again to the mathematic class today i'm going to discuss with you a super trick that is coming all over from the high school to our higher studies so that trick will help you out in your competitive exams also so that trick is involving the point of intersection of two lines right how to find the point of intersection of two intersecting lines so a simple trick within few seconds you can do it which will be useful for you in your in your competitive exams and your in your higher studies so let's get started i have noted down two two lines these are the intersecting lines we need to find the point of intersection of the intersecting lines how do we find here now first rule is that we have to bring it should be like it should be in the form of ax plus by plus c form so we have to bring these two equations into the general form if the constant is outside that side you have to bring it inside okay so to find x coordinate and y coordinate we have to hide the constant part so first to find the coordinates x and y for a point we have x coordinate and y coordinate isn't it so for the point of intersection i'll hide the constant and cross multiply the coefficients cross multiply here that becomes our denominator part so cross multiply 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 and minus 3 into 1 is 3 right the same denominator is there for the y coordinate also so just cross multiply then to find the x coordinate we have to hide the x part and cross multiply this minus 4 into y is minus 4 minus minus 2 into minus 5 is plus 10 so minus 10 here and for the y part we need to hide the y part okay minus 4 into 2 is minus 8 and minus 5 into 3 is minus 15. So minus minus plus 15. That's it. Over. So this is x is equal to minus 14 upon minus 7. And here for the y part. We have to take the negative of the y part. For the x part we have to take as it is. Okay. We have to take a minus sign. So y equal to here 7 upon minus 7. So minus 7 upon minus 7. This comes to x is equal to 2 and y equal to 1. So the point is 2 comma 1. For the illustration it took much time but simply hide the constant part and cross multiply and get the denominator first. Now to get the x part hide the x part and again cross multiply the coefficients get the numerator then for the y part hide the y part and cross multiply the coefficients get the y then you have to solve a bit and you get the point of intersection this will take only three seconds in practice please make a note let's see the noted down two Next. more problems the point of intersection of two lines we have we will be finding with a shortcut okay now the condition is that we have to bring the uh, general form if the constant is outside just bring it in the inside and keep it okay that is the condition okay here now to find the coordinates first we will find the denominator part to find the denominator part just hide the constant cross multiply the coefficients 3 3 is 9 minus 8 4 2 is 8 so 9 minus 8 for the both the coordinates you, the same denominator now for the x part hide the x part and cross multiply minus 1 uh, 110 into 2 minus that comes to minus 220 right subtraction minus here minus into minus plus 240 so this comes to just 20 isn't it so 20 now for the y part hide the y only simply remember for the y part just hide the y and cross multiply here this comes to minus 330 and 84 eight fours that is 320 so minus 320 minus minus plus 320 so this comes to minus 10 okay here this is minus 10 so this is simply 20 upon 1 and minus 10 upon 1 here 
see here we are hiding this minus 330 minus and minus into minus plus 8 fours are 32 plus 320 so this is minus 10 so this is 20 comma minus 10 is the point okay and okay sorry here we have to take the negative right so this will become positive so this is plus 10 the point of intersection is plus 10 do not forget to write a negative sign for the y point okay please note it down let's see the third one right okay the third problem here for the x part and for the y part let us take here we have to hide the constant and cross multiply minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 minus and here just minus 1 so plus 1 so minus 2 plus 1 and for the x denominator hide the x part here minus 2 into 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 minus this is plus okay so minus this is plus so minus 4 here y hide the y part 2 here and minus minus into 1 is again minus okay so 1 so this comes minus 4 upon minus 1 and 3 upon minus 1 so this comes to just 4 comma minus 3 okay we should not forget to take a negative for y so always take a negative sign so this becomes minus so minus minus this becomes plus so 4 comma 3 so do not forget to take a negative sign for the y please make a note. See, here i have noted down two more problems here there, there, there are no x and y we have written l and b whatever it is we have to find the point of intersection will be l the x coordinate will be l here and the y coordinate is b here now to find the denominator hide the constant part and cross multiply these two minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 minus this is just 1 here the same thing minus 2 minus 1 and for L numerator, hide the L part. 2 into 1 is 2 minus plus 32. Okay. So, this. Here, minus into minus 16 to 32. Plus 32 minus 32. Right. Here, for the B, hide the B part. And 2 into 1 is 2 minus 16. So, minus minus 16 plus 16. So, this comes to and not forget to take a negative sign okay here this l is minus 30 upon minus 3 and b is here 16 plus 2 that is 18 minus minus is there by minus 3 so here this comes to 10 and this comes to 6 10 comma 6 is both the negative signs gets cancelled 10 and 6 is the point of intersection now coming to this one here see here this constants are outside to the RHS part. Just before that, we have to bring it to the LHS part. Okay. So, bring it. So, if I bring the 5, it becomes minus 2x minus 3y minus 7. So, we have to bring it into the standard form ax plus by plus c. Okay. Here. Now, we can start x part. Hide the constants minus 9 minus 8 okay here so sorry minus 9 minus 4 right here minus 9 minus 2 to 4 the same thing will be here minus upon minus 9 minus 4 right for the x hide the x here minus 14 minus 15 okay minus minus plus again minus is there so this comes to minus 29 upon minus 13 so this is 29 by 13 right x x part right for the y part hide the y and minus 7 into 3 is minus 21 minus here 5 5 to 10 so this becomes plus 10 so this is here minus 11 so this becomes minus minus plus 11 by minus 13 so the y is so we can write the negative sign to the upper part so the point is 29 upon 13 and minus 11 upon 
13. So do not forget to keep a negative sign for the y part. Okay, here this is the x one. So please make a note like this. I have solved for you the five problems. Any point, any uh, intersecting lines, the point of intersection you can find out within three seconds. Okay, hope you have understood this trick. So you will make use of them in your uh, in your classes. Thank you all.